Hello, and welcome back to our Super Sam. So, we are still working on her two aspirations. That's not the hard part. The hard part is that we're working on all of the careers for a teen. And right now, she is on a computer team. I wanted to check. There are three levels, and she's on level one right now. But that's not the biggest thing that's happened at her house. She just gave birth to a baby. So, we have Barry Masters in here in her house and we're going to move his bed, actually, because we're not trying to uh, be kept awake all night by a screaming baby. So we're going to put him out here, and we will hire nannies. We will hire whatever we need to hire. She has $18,000, and she's all by herself. And I think I would like to keep her all by herself. Oh, I was going to say, wow, all of her needs are up. But that's because she just gave birth. So we will have her come in here and do parenting stuff when she's home. Because I want her to get her parenting skill going. But at the same time, if you're a teenager, you don't always get a parenting skill. So we're going to check and see what's happening. If she's getting parenting skills or not. It looks like, no, she's not. So we will probably not do much with the baby then. Once she becomes an adult, I'm sure she'll have another kid. Anyway, Barry is going to grow up and do another challenge that I've been wanting to do. So he will take over doing that challenge. So Barry's pretty much going to be in the background while we continue to do everything that she was already doing. And that's what we'll do. So she wants to go on a date, start a fight, and summon, oh, and somebody wants to buy something. Summon an urban myth. So in that vein, looking at that, someone told me that, or somebody commented and said that she can only summon the urban myth when her mischief is all the way up. So we're also going to work on getting mischief up to level 10. It's at level five right now. So we'll work on that. She wants to chat with a crush, which is not the person that she had the baby with. But maybe after school today, they can go out on a date since she's got to do three more dates. It shouldn't be hard for her to get into a fight either. Oh, that's right. She was still trying to make a bassinet. Okay, well, let's see if she can continue to work on that before school. We literally just picked up this mess. Anyway, we'll vacuum when she gets home from school. Oh, and she does have computer, but she already did her programming. So that's great. All right, she's going to come home for like a hot second in between school and computers. And two of her things are, are being purchased or they want to purchase. She has a school project. That's so funny. Okay, so we can sell those before she goes off to her event. Let's ship on Plopsy and ship on Plopsy. That one's only $92. No. Okay, so she shipped on Plopsy. No, girl, your class, your, your activity starts. Come out here and pay your bills and see if there's anything in the mail. Okay, great. And now she's going to the after-school activity. I need to pause it as soon as she goes. I didn't quite make it because I want her to work hard, practice hard. There we go. Oh, we're way down at the bottom of getting a performance boost or whatever. But that's okay. We're at least up in the good. Thanks for the package. Okay. We're back. We've got to vacuum. Ugh, this house is a hot mess. Maybe I need to hire a maid. She definitely has enough money with all the stuff that she's selling. The Humor and Hijinks Festival. That gets us $500, but I don't know that we need $500, and I don't think we can go on a date once we get there. Maybe we can. Okay, let's try it. Because that's one of the guys I think she also has a crush on. And, oh, that'll be good. A good time for her to get her mischief skill up. Oh, she came wearing her outfit from practice. Okay, we're going to reveal our crush to him. And then we'll go declare our team. We're going to be the pranksters, right? Because we're wanting to do all of that stuff. She's like, thanks for inviting me. I've had a crush on you for a while. We're going to buy a Humor and Hijinks t-shirt and wear it just because I did love doing that in the Forest APS Legacy we did. Oh, look, she just did it too. Yui Howell. You know her dad is Lou Howell. I can't talk to her, though, because she's famous, but I can talk to this person. 
He's self-assured, romantic, and a kleptomaniac. Okay, I don't really care. I just want to do mischief. Oh my gosh, the principal is here, and she's a fan, so she's passing out. Oh, we just got level six mischief. Yes, we're going to be mischievous with Kyle Carlson. Wearing her t-shirt, feeling very confident right now. Girl, do not let somebody get this dang food from you. Are you taking this food? That's not yours. Girl, we just paid $20 for that food and you let somebody else get it. Get over here and get order this food and stay right here beside it. Dang. That girl's straight up eating your food. Eat it right now. We're in the lead by four. Good. Then we'll pull some more pranks. Oh, she just maxed her charisma skill, which is not even what I was trying to do. <laughs> that dude is evil. This guy over here she just met, and he's evil. There's way too many people to talk to down here. If this girl does not eat this dang food, she continues to walk off. Oh my gosh, please eat it. Hold up, made by Cheyenne Sparacino. Is she related to us? The only Sparacinos that we have in our tree are the ones. She's married to Lucas and has three children. What? She married our brother, Lucas, which the last time I looked, he did not have any kids. I'm sorry. I got to go look at her family. Um, these children are not Lucas's. Madeline Fitzgerald, Sonny Fitzgerald, and Jamal Fitzgerald. And then she married Lucas. Oh, my gosh. Lucas is an adult. And she's an elder. She must have just become an elder. Okay. Wow. So Lucas is married to Cheyenne, but he's got one child named Jacqueline that he had with Yui. And clearly he doesn't have any kids with, uh... Okay, sorry for that little tangent. Okay, at least she's finally eating food. Oh, we just got level seven. We're just literally sitting here doing as much deception and pranks as we could do. All right, same thing, chatting of here, but with different people trying to scare them. Oh, okay. We're supposed to watch the fireworks. The jokesters one? That's because when I when I switched back over to her thing, not extinguish the fireworks. How do we just watch them? I always have this problem. Like the fireworks are right here and you can't click on the fireworks. You can't click on the bottom of the fireworks. I can't click on her and say watch fireworks. So I don't know how it happens. But we maxed our charisma and got two levels in whatever we were trying to do. Mischief. So I think we're calling this a win. Now she's watching the fireworks. Great. She just does it autonomously. Apparently I can't tell her to do it. She seems to like it. This woman wore her wedding dress to join the jokesters. Maybe it was their wedding like plan. Okay, let's go home. She's got a shower and get ready for school. Look how much Aiden and Deacon look alike. We're going to bring Aiden to the house and see if we can do a quick date. She's feeling very playful and I don't want, I need her to calm down. Let's have her take a thoughtful shower. Maybe her focus will come up. Oh my gosh, it's Barry's birthday as well. Oh, they're having their first kiss. Yay. Oh my gosh, this house is a hot mess. There are two plates on the sink, one plate on the table. The dust bunny on the ground, there's a diaper and a bottle on the ground, and she's just worried about dancing with this dude. All right, baby's crying right in the middle of the date. All right, well, I think we're actually going to get a gold star, even though it's not saying we will, but our girl needs to eat. Yes, gold medal date. So we have two more dates to do, start a fight and contact the, I mean, summon the urban myth, contact it. I don't know what that meant, but. Okay, hopefully the maid is going to come today. Why are there flies? Oh, from the diaper. Okay. Wait, Barry didn't get sent to daycare? Yeah, Barry's gone. Okay. I was like, what is happening? Um, what? Have a Sim befriend the Grim Reaper? I guess we became friends with him at work. I mean, at school through Social Bunny, probably. And she has her after school activity and she hasn't done her computer programming. Man. She got another phone call to graduate early, but at least the, the maid is here to clean up our house. Oh, and Orion is here. 
Remember when our brother came over in the whimsy challenge while we were all gone and he had a key to the house and he came over and started cooking something and set the whole house on fire and then ran off? Ugh. I don't remember which brother that was. It was Aspen or Apple or maybe Willow, one of the three. But anyway, she's actually getting tired, which is weird because we've got the rat, the weary where she's never weary or whatever. Oh my gosh, Orion is cleaning our toilet. We just hired a maid for that. Should we invite over Cannon? Absolutely. Oh gosh, our girl is mortified. Absolutely not. Give yourself a pep talk right now. Why are we so mortified? From having a mood swing. Oh my gosh, please tell me I have emotional deaths turned off anyway. Because teens aren't supposed to be able to die. Oh my gosh, when Orion puts on his workout clothes, apparently he uh, gets takes off his hair as well. Okay, good. Go in there and do that. Cannon is here right behind you. Connor is calling to ask her out on a date. Connor. Number one, won't you come take care of this baby if you want to do something? <gasps> Look at her and Cannon having so much flirty stuff. Also, why is she embarrassed about her house being dirty now, but she was not embarrassed last night when it looked awful? This dude is getting in our bed to cry. And then he got back out. I need you to get control of yourself. Everybody here at my house right now. Angelo wants us to graduate early. We can't, Angelo. If only we could. But we have too many things to do. Okay, well, she's headed off to thing, still being mortified. I need her to have a better day wherever she's going. She has bitterness against somebody nearby. Let me look at Cannon then. Oh, my gosh. He's her uncle? Oh, oh, Cannon. Oh, my gosh. We are not flirting with him. Lovebirds? Absolutely not. I totally forgot. His, her dad is his ha is his is his brother no 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 uh-uh well my gosh absolutely not canon no no i don't even know how to i don't even know what to do but the answer is no to all of that no no y'all get out of my house canon is her freaking uncle why did they let them flirt why do they have a flirty flirt thing no 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 okay Candy can be in my house as my uncle hanging out. He cannot be in my house as a person that I have a crush on. Okay, somebody wants to buy something else. How did we ever have time to make anything? All right, back from computers. She's doing excellent. If we could get her programming practiced and stop worrying about dates so much, I think we would be good to go. We're going to hide from everyone after we vacuum, and then we're going to sleep. Never mind, we're not going to vacuum. Oh, no, she is still trying to vacuum. Where is she going? Okay, she said never mind on the vacuum. Okay, Cannon's gone. We're trying to sleep. We've got to age the baby up, and I'm unprepared for any of that. Come in here and age up. I mean, handle the crying baby, and then we'll age the baby up. We'll make him a little room right here at the end of the hallway, I guess. We probably just need a bigger lot. All right, here we go. Aging up baby Barry. Now we have an infant in the house. I'm not giving him his own room yet. I'm going to put one of those pallets right here on the floor because that's all he needs as an infant. Look at him with his black curly hair looking just like his daddy. Okay, of course he's intense. All right, I just enclosed this back area back here. And for now, this is where the baby is going to be. All right, we haven't done any flower arranging, but I think I'm going to keep the flower arranging table outside just because there's no reason for us to have it inside right now and I want to get a changing table for the baby because I think that will make it easier to take care of the baby okay but I'm not gonna do that I don't want the changing table I decided I'm gonna put him his little why can I not put it right there seriously Okay, we'll put it right there in the corner. I'll see if it'll actually work right there. And then I'm going to leave this space open because right now she has nowhere to vacuum. And I'm hoping if I tell her to come over here and vacuum that she can actually do it. Then we'll, then we'll deal with our baby boy who is doing fine. But I do want to do a tiny little makeover on him. <gasps> she can vacuum right there. And it'll at least get the dust from most of the house. Okay, so that's all we've done is add this one little spot right here. All right, I'm going to get her programming done. I'm not super worried about um, 
doing her homework because her grade is an A and it's all the way up at excellent and so that's not our priority right now. She just went around and picked up all the trash from the house, which took forever. And now we're going to practice programming for a little while. The baby is asleep, which is nice. And then tomorrow, hopefully while she's gone to school, the baby will be taken care of at daycare, which is not always a thing that happens, but hopefully it will. Level three programming, nice. But now you've got to get up and handle the baby. He would like to be fed, mom. Oh, she likes programming. Great. All right. Getting in a little tummy time. Well, the baby did not, in fact, go to daycare. He's just been laying here sleeping the whole time. And now he's had a blowout. And we don't really have a bathtub. I'm just going to keep an eye on him. And then I'm going to cheat his hunger up more. Not all the way to the top. But he should have gotten fed at daycare at least a little bit. So that's what I'll do. Well, he's just here getting milestones. Coup, reach, blowout. I know it says Barry has returned from daycare. Um, outstanding performance. You can graduate early. No, thank you. Okay, she's done with her programming. and She doesn't go back until tomorrow, but she should be ready tomorrow to get a promotion. Oh, she's too tense. Why are you tense? Fun. All right, come and change his diaper. And then we're literally just going to have to clean him up in the bathroom sink over and over and over. All right, it's working a little bit. Oh, wow, it's working pretty well. One more cleanup, and then you can put Barry down here. And then I need to take care of Antonia. Her fun is coming up because of the music. We're going to listen, I mean, get something to eat, take a shower. I'll have her go ahead and harvest. Nope, unless her tension goes down. Barry, what is the matter? You are feeling great. What's he wanting to do? Oh, he's trying to go night-night. Absolutely, go night-night. Delaney McKay wants to come hang out. I don't know who she is, but okay, come on. I mean, I got things to do, but you can sit around and talk to my child if you want. Let's see if we can make an arrangement of things we already have. Okay, we have lilies. We have roses. We have birds of paradise and chrysanthemums. Okay, we're very focused. What can we make for zero price? There we go. We need four and three chrysanthemums. So let's do summer's morning. It normally costs $60. Let's see about it. Yeah, because flower arranging is a skill we didn't have before, and now we do. We're going to do this one and sell it. Maybe we can list it on Plopsy. I don't know how the flower arranging works. Okay. Yeah, we totally can. Okay, great. So I'm going to put it in her inventory, and we will list it on Plopsy. But right now it's worth 45 which sucks. It's poor quality, I see. Okay, because we, it would have cost her $60 to make it. Anyway, she's going to come in here and harvest everything. Her fun is all the way up. She does know Delaney, at least. Let's do a couple of, like, mischief things with her, and then we'll go to bed. It looks like we're really close to our next level of gardening as well. Okay, good night. This is a good place for us to end it. Hopefully, we'll get a promotion at school when we start playing tomorrow. But what we need to do right now is get all of her skills updated. I know we didn't get a promotion. We didn't get any more of the... Oh, you know what? I didn't mark down our first when she had a baby. Where is it? Oh, it's not life. It is down here. Maybe I did mark it. Oh my gosh, it's because she can't do it as a teen. I only have the teen ones selected. Let me click on adult and go down here. Had a baby. There we go. See, and we can't do graduated from high school, dropped out of high school, expelled from high school. I mean, maybe you can do that. I don't know how that would work. But that's not what we're trying to do. Hopefully, we'll also get to win the lottery, but I don't know if that'll happen either. Okay, we're taking the adult off. I don't want to look at it. Um... I'm not going to spend any of our points. I thought we were saving up, and now I can't remember what we were saving for. We only have 930, but our birthday, her birthday is not for like two weeks, and she has already has a, a potion of youth, so we should be good. We need to still have 1,500 by then so that we can get our next potion of youth. Yeah, she has one. Okay, good. Let me get this food out of her inventory. Seriously? 
It's not even food. It's just empty plates. Okay, let's do that. So it looks like all we need are these over here. Oh, yeah, we maxed out Charisma. Okay, where's Charisma? There we go. Maxed out. We have one flower arranging now. There we go. And then our Mischief. Where is it? Went up to seven. Nice. Oh, yeah, Programming also went up one. All right. Okay, and that's it. That's all that's changed. We didn't even get a computer team promotion this time, but we did get some skills and our baby aged up. I'm sad that we're not getting parenting. Like I wish we could be getting parenting skills, but we're not. So I'm not going to worry about that. Again, we're just trying to get Barry aged up kind of as quickly as possible. Probably when he is a child and a teen, when he's a child, for sure, when he gets an A, I'm probably just going to age him up to a teen. And then as a teen, um, if he gets the call to graduate early, we're going to graduate early and just send him to the challenge that he's going to be doing. So he's going to move out and still be in the world, but he's actually going to be in a different world playing a different challenge. So that is everything for the Super Sam today. And I'm going to leave you guys right here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.